Every guy has a passion. For some, it's working out. For others, it's sports. And for Rob Kaufman, it's cars. What I like is all different kinds of things. So old cars, new cars, muscle cars, race cars. His playground, the 60,000 square foot state-of-the-art showroom at RK Motors, where he has everything a car enthusiast wants. So I kind of appreciate a little bit of everything. Even a car he has to make, like this two-door Camry. Looks harmless, but looks can be deceiving. I thought it'd be cool to say a street Camry, the NASCAR race Camry, and then this is the missing link in the middle. It may be the world's greatest donut car. Here's why. A 680 horsepower NASCAR truck series engine under the hood, Lexus suspension, and cup car exhaust. It's kind of like putting a rocket engine in a beer can. A car truly built for speed is this red Ferrari F40. It'll do 90 miles per hour in second gear was one of the last Enzo Ferrari had a hand in designing, and it eschews creature comforts for raw power. The car is really before any of the electronic interventions, so when you drive this car, it's just a raw driving experience. There's no, no traction control, no ABS, none of the modern stuff that you have you now. It's, and you feel everything. And right? when that turbo kicks in, you better have it pointed straight. So you have to come back, we'll take it for a ride, we just have to get it out of the whole... Uh, you heard him say it. We're going for... Absolutely. We're going for a ride in it. A car with both power and comfort is this Lexus LFA. Lexus is owned by Toyota, and at that point Toyota was in Formula One, and they really wanted to build a showcase car for their technology and expertise. So they really went all out. It's you know, a carbon fiber chassis, and it's got a navigation system from a Lexus. It's got all the electronics of a modern car. And... It's a 550 horsepower uh, V10 engine, and when you... It's got that F1 sound. In and amongst these modern beauties is a NASCAR classic. This is the actual Chevy Junior Johnson raced in 1963, complete with the Holly Farms paint job, mystery motor and all. You know, all these little details on it, you know, the vents, you know, NASCAR would make them keep all the trim and all these odd things like that. We brought him in and we actually put this thing up on a lift and you can see all the modifications that he did where the truck arms were taken out and the longer ones were put in. And actually, a lot of stuff that are in the NASCAR cars today were done in this car 50 years ago. Other things which we went into a lot of detail about apparent was uh, the electrical tape wrapping of the steering wheel to give you a particular grip. Apparently, it was quite a science to doing, the, to doing this correctly. Unlike some collections, RK Motors showroom is open to the public, so feel free to drop in and look around. Most of these rides are for sale, and with their worldwide appeal, you never know who you might bump into because... A nice smoky burnout translates well in many languages. <laughs>